I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but what you are making of me. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good, and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. When I think about Jacob as a child, the main thing that springs to mind is the fact that he never stopped moving. He was this little tiny spider monkey kid. You would turn your back for a second and he would just be gone and you would find him somewhere you never expected because most people would never think to go somewhere like that. When he graduated from high school, there was a prize at Humberside for best in chemistry and best in French. And you might say, like, what kind of kid gets the prize for being good in chemistry and good in French? Well, that was Jake. Since then, the spider monkey mind has taken him on many journeys and many adventures, and we've followed it all vicariously. And I'm sure there will be many, many more adventures to come. Christine, I've watched you grow as an individual into the strong woman that you are today. I remember the days that you would wear your skirts and your high socks and call it fashion. I remember the days that I would put on your clothes, put on your makeup, and ensure that you took the photos. For better or worse, every time you look at your wedding party photo, you're going to forever see my son, your best man, my daughter, your maid of honor, I feel for you. So how I first learned I was maid of honor was actually through a text message saying, I should fire my maid of honor. So uh, typically me, I asked, who's your maid of honor? And I got the response of saying, it's you. So that's how I learned. I cannot promise you a life of sunshine. I cannot promise you riches, wealth, or gold. I cannot promise an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But I can promise all my heart's devotion, a smile to chase away your tears of sorrow, a love that is ever true and ever growing, and a hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow. My wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're out there getting where you're going to, I hope you know somebody loves you. Yeah, this is my wish. Congratulations, Christine and Jacob. Jacob, welcome to the family. We have come together not to mark the start of a new relationship, but to recognize a bond that already exists. And we welcome you here to celebrate, rejoice, and witness the marriage of Jacob and Christine. Jacob and Christine would like to acknowledge and thank their parents for the support, guidance, love that their mothers and fathers have made to make their children who they are today to young adults who are ready to be in a loving, committed marriage. They would like to honor their families by a giving of a rose to their moms.
Jacob and Christine, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves in marriage? Yes. yes. Will you honor each other as husband and wife all the days of your life? Yes. Right answers. <laughs> Jacob, do you take Christine to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and bad, in sickness and health, in sorrow and joy, to love her, honor her, forsaking all others all the days of your life? I do. And Christine. I do. Christine, when we found each other at a time neither of us would expect it, between when we first met as teenagers in school and our later crossing that would eventually lead us here. When we met later, it was on the other side of an ocean that we had each crossed without the other. Before that, I'd still felt lost in that endless sea. But soon after, I knew I had landed on a shore with you that I would never want to disembark from again. There's no words to describe how blessed and grateful I am to have you in my life. You are everything that I've wanted and everything that I didn't know that I needed. For seven years, you've supported me in my dreams, provided encouragement, and you've improved your cooking skills from burning my food. <laughs> <laughs> I recognized your soul full of compassion and curiosity, someone who would deeply care for and understand me as I came to care for and understand you. And even though the wheels of plans already in motion would take me over 2,000 miles away from you for far too long for either of our sake, I knew that with you, I had something I believed in I would never feel, that I was once again truly home. My promises are simple. I promise to love you unconditionally, laugh with you when you're happy, and to support you when you're sad, guide you when you need direction, challenge you to be a better person, help you succeed, to treat your goals as if they were my own, never giving up on them. I vow to be your home, Christine Joyce Pearl Leverance. I vow to be your place of comfort and warmth against the cold and stormy world. I vow to protect this home we have created together as a place where we can be our true selves together, where we can build and grow together, and where we can stand strong together against whatever may come our way. I vow to carry this place of love and understanding with you so that no matter where we go, be it the sunny shores of the other side of the planet or driving through the suburbs on the hunt for free stuff we won't need for years or decades, as long as we're together, we will be home. And I vow to always make that somewhere you want to be. This ceremony is special because it will become an anniversary tradition. Jacob and Christine have each written love letters to each other. Show everybody your letters, guys. There you go. <laughs> they will now place the bottle of wine in the box. And they will each place their letters in the box. And they will close the box and seal it. On their first wedding anniversary, they will open the box, enjoy the wine, read the letters. They can continue this tradition every anniversary by replacing the wine, writing new letters, and sealing the box. This box is like a romantic time capsule. You can keep this box in a place of honor in your home as a constant reminder of your commitment to one another. Therefore, in the honesty and sincerity that you have both said and done here before your witnesses, and the power vested in me by the province of Ontario, it is my delight and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. When I'm with you, there's no reason for why I'm intoxicated by your side. Nothing in the world's gonna beat this high. I've been searching for all of my life. When I'm with you, so it is with great pleasure I would like to introduce to everyone our newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob and Christine Abrams. It's funny to think we should know. Oh, and it's love when we've lost control. Jacob, I am endlessly proud of you, and I love you very much. Christine, thank you from the bottom of my heart for loving and caring for my son. And of course, welcome to the storied, some might say notorious, uh, Abraham's Warden Perrin clan.
traveled the farthest so far tonight? I have a Thunder Bay. Anyone farther? Christine? All right. So here's the joke. It's amazing how far some people travel for a free meal. <laughs> See? People laugh. Christine has tried her best to ruin hockey for me from day one of her life. Uh, on a May 1st, many, many years ago, uh, my wife came up to me to tell me that it was time uh, to, take, to go to the hospital because Christine was going to be born. Uh, I learned that night that it, you just cannot say to your uh, a mother that, uh, you know, can you give me three more hours? I just got to see these hockey games. I ended up at a hospital sitting with four other guys that were in the same situation. It was an interesting night. And then the next day, Christine was born. Uh, we put Christine into learning how to skate, which went very well. Next year, we put her into hockey. We gave Christine a uniform. She would not wear the uniform. So Christine's career in uh, hockey lasted maybe five minutes. Uh, just to show you that this is taking a full circle, Colorado and Tampa are playing game six tonight. I'm not going to see it. <laughs> you know. But here's the thing. We're not spider monkeys, we're people. And we have to come down to ground sometime. Everybody needs a person with whom they can grow, with whom they can build a life, a person with whom they can grow old. Christine, I wanna thank you for, for being that person, for finding the home for the spider monkey and for taking care of him. And giving him a space to be himself. Thank you so much. Congratulations, guys. I know Mummy, she would have loved nothing better than to be here with us today to celebrate this occasion, although as beautiful as this wedding has been, she might have found something to gripe about because my mother was never satisfied, as the Prince song goes. My mother had another defining characteristic. She was extraordinarily proud of her Jewish heritage, our Jewish heritage. As our people say in Hebrew, Mazel Tov, which means, Mazel Tov, which means both congratulations and good luck. And then we raise a glass and we say, L'chaim, everyone, L'chaim, to life. May you both and may all of the family here today relive the joy, relive the joy of this day every day from this day forth and forever. Mazel Tov, Jacob and Christine. Mazel Tov, Christine and Jacob. L'chaim. was little, he ran around scattily, climbing up walls on his hands and his knees. Later in Italy, confused us utterly, wearing a hoodie at 40 degrees. After a sally to Silicon Valley, probing the secrets of Zuckerberg's thief, made up his mind to go back to Etobicoke and live with Christine in contentment and peace. Subtle and witty, airy and pretty, with your cats and your garden, the king and the queen. May you live happily now to eternity. Love to the newlyweds, Jake and Christine.